Hi everybody, welcome to today's episode, still on our technical drawing. Well, today we'll be doing something very so wonderful, something very new, something kind of superb. I guess what? Ah, let me cut straight to the point. Let me make my point clear. Today we will draw an epicycloid. Have you ever heard of the drawing, that diagram or that name before? Oh, if you've not heard of it, it's kind of looked like a ham fan. Yeah. So we're drawing an epicycloid, okay? It's um leave too much history or too much details so we'll just cut straight to the point to be joining an epicycle today and we'll join it with giving just two measurements with these two measurements we'll draw a beautiful epicycle and then we'll get our locus of that epicycle that we have drawn still on still those of you that are not following me yet on youtube please try and follow me by subscribing to my youtube channel please subscribe like my videos comment and share them Okay, so as you know, today we will be drawing an epicycloid. Now we are giving these two measurements. Okay, the radius of our directing circle is 70 millimeter, and the radius of the rolling circle is 20 millimeter. So with these two measurements, we can draw. Now the first thing we need to do is to get our meter rule and measure 20 millimeter. So this is 20, okay. It's 20 and then we come somewhere towards middle towards the action left okay and then we'll draw a circle okay so this is our circle okay now the next thing for us to do is to divide the circle into 12 equal parts now this is how we'll do it okay draw a straight line cutting across the center Draw that straight horizontal line too. Okay. Okay. So after doing this, the next thing for us to do is to divide this circle into two equal parts, as I said earlier. So we put it here, and then we cut. It here just make it cut tiny cut up cut down put it here the same thing cut up cut down and then put it here cut up and then it cuts down and then we join all these points Okay, so I joined all my points and then I'm going to number it starting from this point. So I'll number here 1, number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so it's divided into 12 parts. Now, listen, next thing for us to do is to use the radius of our circle okay which is 70 millimeter so now what this is kind of very vital now at point 12 okay you elongate the line what should i do at point 12 here do my elongation okay so having done my elongation the next thing for me to do is to mark out 70 millimeter okay now watch from this point i mark out 70 millimeter from this point here okay 70 should be here so this is 70 okay and then i join it okay, okay so this is 72 and uh, this is 70 millimeter now before we proceed to the next step i advise you to get a paper and put under your drawing sheet okay it's under your drawing sheet okay so we've done that now we we'll get our compass and this is the very important part that we don't have to make mistake. Now we'll put this at this point. Let's call here point A. 
So we put it at point A, elongate to 12, elongate to 12, okay, and then we'll draw an arc. Okay, now we'll do the same thing from 11, passing through 1, we draw an arc, okay. So, um, we draw this arc, okay, from 1, okay, we've done 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'll stop at 6, okay. So, this is for 3. This is for 3, therefore point 0.4. So, for point 0.4, we'll do this. Point five, also do the same, and then point six, do similar thing. Now take notes. Still put it at pivot it at point A, and then extend it to the center point. Okay, and then draw the arc. Now this you can make this one quite thicker than the rest to differentiate it. Okay, so that's it. Now the next thing for us to do is to use our compass. You reduce it, okay, and you measure the length, okay, of this part. So to one, okay, all part here equal. Measure the length. And then put it at point two of, and then cut on the last line. Okay. Now do my cutting. We cut it until you are in it soft. Like you make twelve different divisions. Is what I mean. Okay, so did the divisions and we number them 1 to 12. So with our mixer rule, from point A, okay, passing through the, um, point 1, you draw it straight. Passing through point 2, so draw it straight. Passing through point 3, so the same thing, so. Right straight point for straight point five straight point six and so you do that till last point. Okay, so I've done that okay now. Another crucial step that we ought not to miss is this part. And this is what we'll do. Let's be careful. At this midpoint, with the radius of this circle, which is 2 cm or 20 mm, okay? It's 20. Then we draw circles. Now, this is how we draw a circle. At point one, from this on this middle line, okay, on this middle line, this middle line, at point one, we at point one, and then we we'll draw the circle. Can you see it? We put at this middle line, on this, uh huh. Then we we'll draw a circle. Circle must start from here, and must end here. Okay, sometimes it might actually cut across it through some little little areas. Okay. Okay, so you do that. You do the same thing. So for point two, now point two, I'm doing the same thing. Line three on the center line. 
okay we'll do the same thing so if you uh, oh that was sleeping you see if i didn't have that paper under my work i would have overslept making my work look kind of rough so do that till number 12 okay so let me give you time to do it so i did our circle from point one to the last one okay give it at this point okay now okay so now we want to draw the locus okay and this part is very very important and very crucial this is actually the most important part most important part in this our diagram now we'll start we can call here point 12 or point zero okay okay so we can call here point zero or point 12 okay now watch this is circle one right this is circle one where circle one touches line one this is line one or arc one so where circle one touches arc one if you check this is a circle which is at this point i'll be yeah it touches this here okay so this is it line um arc one circle one this point now watch this is two this is circle two and this is arc two right yeah this is arc two circle two where does it touch it what is it here can you see it can you see mm -hmm. so at this point so we'll do that for the same thing for three this is circle three at three at this point circle four and arc four okay we keep progressing circle five arc five is this one here I believe you can see it is a kind of faint line this is circle five and arc five Now circle six and arc six is at the vertex. Okay, this part of it. Now do the same thing for seven and eight. Now I am advise you when you reach at point six. Okay, you get back to the, like to the least part. That's twelve. So start to start again from twelve. This is twelve. Okay. Now, this is arc one. This is and this arc is passing from one passing through eleven. This two is on two passing through ten, three passing through nine, four passing through eight, five passing through seven. Check that we didn't pass it through because of too much long details. It's not necessary, kind of. So this is twelve, okay. Now this is circle twelve origin, and this is circle eleven at arc eleven, then three six. At this point at this point okay now this is circle 10 and at 10 at this point circle 9 arc 9 this is arc 9 percent so this is circle 9 and arc 9 okay now this is circle eight, arc eight, passing through four at this point. Okay, this is circle seven, arc seven and five are the same thing at this point. Okay, now we have gotten all our points for our locus. And the next thing for us to do is to join all these points and get locus of this epistolic fluid. Now, I will join into the colored pencil to make it more visible and more clearer. So, you join me. But we are drawing, we are joining this um, point with a nice French curve. Okay, so I've joined all my points with, I use this French curve, okay, it's part of the French curve to join my points. I use a colored pencil, a green colored pencil to join my points. I think it's kind of visible. So, this is what's called the locus. Okay. Now we are done with our diagram.
our epicycloid is drawn and is good to go. So, so this is it, okay? Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If this video has been helpful to you, please click on that subscribe button or that subscribe tab below to subscribe to my channel. The essence of subscribing is just that whenever I drop new technical drawing videos, you'll be the first to get notified so that you can watch the video and learn more. Thank you once more for watching my video. Please try it at home or try it or practice more, okay? To make you um it make you more let's say more perfect in drawing it. As I said that practice makes perfect. Thank you once more for watching this video and have a blissful and a nice day. Bye.